Greetings everyone and welcome back to my Spyro 2 playthrough. Last time we did uh, that Idol Springs level and this time we're just going to go back to Summer Forest. Now that we know how to swim we can explore a lot more areas of the area. And I found this little detail here that like there are these leaves that fall from the trees down to the ground. If you actually like run through them once they reach the ground, they will actually follow you once like you run through them. Just, see, kind of like that. Alright, <laughs> it's kind of weird show. Ooh, there you go. Anyway, it's just like little attentions to details like that. I really like to show you guys, I mean, back in the day when games didn't have that many graphics, they still did what they can as best as they did probably can could do something. And so, yeah, now we can swim all the way down to this place over here, just making sure I haven't missed any gems, okay? There are those fish again from that idle springs level. Get away, there's an idol above the lake that you don't want to get swallowed by. Yeah, so now you get inside this tower here that you might have seen from distance earlier on. There was like a little orb on the ledge. And there it is. Just, there's the orb just bouncing up and down like a happy little squirrel. Okay, and there you go. That's two out of the four orbs you can get in Summer Forest. And summer is the correct word for today. I mean, even though it's September, the end of September, here in England, it is absolutely boiling. We had a heat wave today, about 28 degrees Celsius. I mean, what the hell? This country is usually freaking cold and it never snows either, so I don't, I, I don't get this country, it's just so weird. But if you live in America, you probably have different, you know, weather issues like hurricanes and tornadoes. Uh, I don't know, I've never been to America. So here we have like a nice circular room following the golden ratio for some reason, and then like you can charge through in one straight shot just around here. But it's not really a straight line, it's more of a nice circle kind of shape. And I probably shouldn't start off the video showing a detail that isn't really all that necessary. So now we have these switches that like open some doors at one point and then pressing them again will open the ones that they just closed and close once they just open. So now we can't go all the way back there because it closed. Anyway, what does Zoe have to say? Way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. What do you mean help you? You're not going to do anything. Whoops. Oh, and keep those orbs too. They're a professional thing. You're going back to the Dragon World. Uh, well, the orbs, I don't think, are actually that important to the story. The top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. <laughs> Okie dokie. Orbs are more important to, like, the happy ending of the game, but to be honest, all you really need to do is just go through levels and get all the talismans to actually complete the game. Uh, without getting 100%, but this is a 100% run like you already know. And there's a ladder over there. What do we do with ladders? We climb them, but since we can't just yet, then... Oh well, and here's Hunter, he explains all the Your different game types camera of camera. Is currently in passive. Like, uh, you have passive and, you know, active or something like that. You can change it in the options menu, like when you press start, but I don't really know how to work it, and I'm fine with the one I currently have, so, you know what, nothing is going to be changed. Anyway, so we're just going to collect some more gems around here, then we're going to go and start off the Colossus level, which is ice based, and it has, like, those guys from uh, Idol's, Idol Springs, so they're, like, a different color. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special. Oh, okay. Also, look, it's a speedway level. Oh, we love on those. Frankly, I do like the ones in this game over the ones in the uh, Sparrow one. So I will enjoy them. So look at that. This uh, switch closes that door there, but opens this one here. So if you were to press that, look, the other one opens. So how do we get there? Oh, well, we just fly over from window to window, kind of like the Assassin's Creed this game is. And there's a third orb. The fourth one is at the top of the ladder that we can't climb up just yet, so too bad. So over here we have a wall that you can kind of glitch jump, like if you run fast enough and then you know, hover right at the end. You might actually be able to get over the wall, but guess how you get it down? Money bags over here, the money grabbing Say, ball bag. Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Oh, he's lying. He already knows. Hmm. Yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jarred my memory. Hmm. <laughs> liar! <laughs> liar! Oh, God, I don't like this guy. He's just so much of an asshole. And here, we have, like, an entire level based around swimming. So, if you do not know how to swim by this point, so if you manage to actually get to this place without knowing how to swim, then good luck in this level. You'll be barely able to do anything in it. So... <laughs> <clears throat> I think that's all the gems you can get around here for now. Aquaria Towers. I, I do actually like that level. It's a good swimming level. Probably one of my favorite water levels in any kind of platforming game, but... Oh well, now's not the time to talk about platforming games, even though it's a platforming game. It's a perfect place to actually talk about. This is uh, Jake on CNN. So, 
Do I miss anything back here? No, that just goes straight up to those windows, and so yeah, now this goes all the way back. So now let's backtrack back to Colossus, the very boring uh, roller coaster in Thorpe Park. I swear to God, that, that roller coaster is actually kind of boring. I mean, it's, it's like probably the most outdated roller coaster in Thorpe Park. So here's Colossus. It has a certain mission in it, which is ice hockey, which I'm not too great at, so don't expect a fantastic playthrough of this game by Jake. He's not that amazing at this part of the game. And as I said, you can get a skill point by getting 5-0 in the ice hockey game, which I can try to get. It's not that hard. <laughs> Look at that, there's a goat being lifted up. Oh no, they're going to feed the goat to the Yeti. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Disturbing sounds in the background. <gasps> Did the goats eat the yeti? <laughs> we weren't expecting that. Okay, so there's some gems around here right behind you as soon as you start the level. But uh, what does this guy have to say? I think this level's based around monks. The yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Okay, so brothers are uh, like uh, the way you refer to monks in the Christian religion, I guess, or... I don't know, is it Jewish as well? I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, these characters are pretty much based off of monks like I just said a billion times in a row. Anyway, so you got obstacles like these and the only way to actually get past them is just to talk to people, so it's kind of pointless. I should be able to open this door for you. Brother Arnie. <laughs> it's Arnold Schwarzenegger and he's just standing right here and he sounds nothing like him. Arnold hungry! Well, Arnold isn't getting any food today. Okay, on under one of these bridges actually. So oh, yak! Disgusting yak. Anyway, um, gems around here. And these statues later on, like, become possessed and you have to find them one at a time, like these. Like, there are ten statues. <coughs> statues over the entire level, and you have to find each of them in, like, a certain order. But when we get to the first statue, I'll show you what exactly it's all about. Um, oh yeah, thanks for the commenting guy. They actually told me that those little spark things called spirit particles. I double checked just to see what exactly they were called, and. Yes, they're called spirit we need particles. Key when you know how to chant like this. We need a key. A nice key for you and me. When all you need to need to do is chant like me. Uh, how many variations of that song can I make up? Maybe just two, but oh well. I'm sure, it's more than enough for my mind power. And I'm not sure if Zoe had anything to say back there. I sure as hell don't care, and it doesn't really make much of a difference. Hi there, yeah. I probably won't get all of this level done. See, look at that, it needs like 11 Each time spirit you particles. Enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. Okay. Yeah, okay. So your voice is kind of different to your regular voice. And every time I recall, there's always that damn car just speeding away outside my house. I don't know what's. Oh, what's up with that guy? He's like, he's purposely. Looking through his window, waiting for Jake to record, just so that he can just put the keys into his ignition and just drive away to make all the noise he can and get noticed in the video, and then comment in the video just saying, "Oh man, that was me at 2:40." Lol. Oh god. Hey, look what I can do. What can you do? Well, uh, well, what happens if I stand on? Ah! Okay, I don't know how he's doing that, but Sony scared the hell out of me. What are you trying to do, man? You trying to kill me? I don't like you anymore. I didn't miss any gems around here. No. Okay. Um. Yeah, so try and remember where all of these like uh, Buddha statues are everywhere. Actually, I think yeah, I think they are kind of based on Buddha. So maybe monks come from a Buddhist religion too. I don't know. Jake doesn't know all that much about religion. It was one of the subjects that, even though he did well in, he didn't really pay much attention to either. Ah well. Like there, there are some subjects I just like didn't really care about. Some of good grades like science. I I. I like I learned all the basic facts, but like the work itself was kind of like childish, so never really bothered. But in the end, yeah, I did get a really good grade. Remember anyway, what does advice. Zoe have to say once you again? You farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take another sip of water while someone was talking, and they finished what well, take finished talk, uh, finished drinking, and he spits it all out in disgust just to say, "What are you doing?" Oh, oh, another goat. Okay, you enemies are no harm in this level, so I'm not particularly scared. Oh, look, a little penguin. I didn't mean to do that, little penguin. Oh, yeah, and it's in this game that if you hold all four of the triggers, sparks points to the nearest gems. So, if you're ever having trouble finding the remaining gems in the level, just hold all four of the triggers. L1, R1, L2, and R2. So, 
see children before the PS3, you didn't have like R3 or stuff like that. I'm not even sure if you do now, I never really looked at PS3 controller. That's all to do with my brother. It's like there's a horrible though Yeti in I'm there. A vegetarian, I think you should kill that Yeti. He's pretty <gasps> tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. Already, just just watch me. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna burn his ass. Oh, wait, what's what? Why is there a cutscene? Okay, it's probably not a good idea. No! Oh, my Yeti friend, I'm. <laughs> I thought the Yeti was. Oh, uh, I thought this game was E I for everyone. All bark. Ro -ro. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our secret houseman <laughs> to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Okay, take another drink of water. Jake, just stop it already. So that's the end of the level, but not the end of the, the battle. Whatever it's called. Yeah, and that's your talisman for this level, which is a little Buddha statue. Let's take a look at it in the guidebook, just for no particular reason. Oh, we just missed it, by the way. Oh, there it is. Right on the far right. Uh, so I guess we kind of can go up there, like on top of that, but I, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I've never tried it before. Um... Uh, sorry, yeah, if you press triangle, you can see, like, your stats for this level. Was it L1, R1, L2? What is it? <laughs> oh, it's select, it selects. Yeah, so, I've destroyed 11 enemies, so now I can use that little power-up thing. And this time, it's not speed charge or super flight. It's actually a spring, but I'll show you how it all works soon. Anyway, like, what, 12 minutes into the video? Let's see if I can get this ice hockey bit done before I finish the video. I started to realize I'm uploading about 20-minute videos, I mean... Normally 20 minutes doesn't usually bug me, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you have better things to do during the day, so I'll try and keep it around 15 minutes. I'll really try, I really do. Ah, Swear Spyro, I will. Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Oh, maybe. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Okay, oh, look at the bottom of the little guy's speech. It's actually like a difficulty rating. So this gets two out of five stars based on what the developers thought was actually hot. So anyway, this guy will throw out a little hockey puck and then all you have to do is just uh, go towards it, put it in your mouth and shoot it into the goal, uh, away from the goalkeeper. And I think actually blowing fire makes it go a bit faster. If you go to the left, the goalkeeper will actually go to the left. And then as soon as you get like kind of close to him, just press right and then shoot anywhere into those line of like red beads and then you should get a goal. It's actually very easy to do but uh, this is like kind of the warm up exercise. After this you'll actually be able to fight like uh, play hockey against someone and it gets a pretty like kind of annoying. I guess it's not even possible. I guess I could get that 5 nil skill point but now uh, we'll see how it all goes. I mean Jake in the end is just all down to luck. He's not skilled or anything. So as long as you've uh, pressed left, the guy will actually start going to the left. And then you just press right straight away and shoot in him once again. Oh, it's still that hockey mask with like, the guy's actual face, but if like you get a top-down view of the camera, you can actually see that he has a proper face under it. He's like, kind of like a bear or something. Apparently I'm playing under, uh, against my own team's goalie as well, which is kind of odd. Yeah, when you actually fight the second player dude, whatever he is, um, like you'll actually get your own goalie into the other side. And his AI isn't perfect, he doesn't save every single goal against it, so uh, make sure, like, pretty much look out for yourself in, in that two-player match. Well done! Have this! Okay, thank you! Oh, that's a nice orb for you and me. It doesn't rhyme with key, so I'm very sad for me. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? Oh, one-on-one, -on -one? Oh, one -on -one, okay. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at a red. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this guy's kind of an arsehole. You can, like, uh, flame him to bring him down for a few seconds, but he always gets back up, and the crowd hates him, so the crowd's kind of cheering for you. I, f I feel kind of bad, actually, flaming him, because it's really not his fault. And sometimes your goalkeeper, I guess, can, like, hit it into the other goal, but right now, it's just going everywhere along the place. All right, um... Oh, no, 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 dude, 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 dude. Don't you dare... Oh, dude. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh no, I'm gonna restart. I'm, I, I actually think I can get 5 0. Okay, so now the hockey puck slowed down. And just so you know, the other guy can attack you to get the, the hockey puck out, out of your mouth. It's just a bit more logical because you can, you can get the hockey puck away from him, so I don't see why he doesn't have the privilege to actually knock it away from you as well. It's only fair, I guess. 
And come on, long shot. Nope. Oh, that was a close shot. Anyway, so now the hockey puck's going down here. Sparrow goes to the left. Choose to the left. Choose to the right. Go! Yes. <laughs> I kind of said that before I actually scored, but you know, Jake knew it was going in. Like, dude, pass it to me. I'm on your side. Why are you against me, bro? Why you gotta do this to me? Like, come on. Oh, dude, you just walk right over it. How many times am I gonna say, dude, dude? Ah, oh, no, dude, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh. I hope I don't say dude one more time. Otherwise, I'm going to scream like a little girl. Can I come on? Yes! Uh, good reactions by Jake. Alright, so knock you over straight away. Um, oh, come on, that went right to me. D U D E, come on. What? Dude! <laughs> uh, what's going on? Alright, I saw the hockey puck go down here, so. Okay, Jake was right. Um, uh, turn around quicker. Oh, don't nudge me when I don't even have the puck. What? Oh, yes, thank God. Um, yeah, so if you keep flaming in front of you, I think you do actually go quicker, I'm not sure. Probably an urban legend among Jake. Alright, one more goal to go. Can Jake do it? Jake's not really the biggest sportsman on the sports team, but you know what? He could sure try. Alright, come on. Oh, stop doing that. Um, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, no. Do not get that in at that speed, okay. Come on, the final shot. Ooh, so close. Oh, I probably did that a bit too early. Wait, did he get it? Oh, something knocked it away at a very high speed by... Oh, I swear if that went through, I would have killed him. I would have fired my goalie on the spot. Um, come on, pick that one up. Uh, dude. Come on, get that in. Yes, still point as well. There we go, Jake did it. Flawlessly. Well. well done, have this if you start it long enough you might not see anything. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, it's kind of like a red herring what you just said there. Anyway, that's all I can fit in for this part today. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>